Um, what I want to ask is about the illegitimate child. Mm. What yeah. is the position of the illegitimate child? Okay. Was he is born he out of wedlock? Is he, is he, is he, is he, a woman judged me for the person that impregnated the lady to take care of the child and was born outside of marriage. I want to ask you a question, What's Rashid. It? One thing at a time. No. The woman who fell in the act of adultery, was she already married or non married? The man is not married. The baby was illegitimate. I'm asking because of one thing. I want to share with you guys that Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Abu Hanifa, may Allah be pleased with him, differed with Al Jumhur, the vast majority of the scholars, and he said, if a man and a woman who've committed adultery and they repented and they wanted to get married while the woman is already pregnant, he said it's permissible. And when the child is born, even though he is born out of wedlock, he would still bear the name of the father, the biological father. So they repent and their marriage is valid and the child is saved and his name will be uh, Amr, the son of so and so, the biological father who has become already married to his mother. As I said, his opinion is different than the opinion of the vast majority of the scholars but it's a very good opinion and the objection of but the Prophet ﷺ said that uh, it is absolutely true but if the woman is married and she's committed adultery so the child would not bear the name of the biological father and his support and everything will be on the husband unless if it is proven otherwise, like nowadays with the DNA, he's not his child. So he has all the right to deny spending on him or supporting him and even to divorce his wife and not support her financially. But we're talking about if a woman was not married and she f happened to you know, fall into the act of fornication and now she's pregnant. Can the man who impregnated her marry her? According to Abu Hanifa, yes. And whenever she gives birth, the child will be named after his biological father, who is by now married to his mother. And obviously all the financial support, the upbringing and everything will be due upon the father. What after, what in case that they never got married and they, uh, she gives birth, uh, the child would not be named after this person and if there is any financial support he is required to do it because he is he's a child he or she even though it is out of wood luck I hope your question is answered and the answer is clear